Hey yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy, Instinct of Doom, and today I have a very special treat for y'all today. Now, as y'all can see in the title, it's going to be a tutorial video today, and it's gonna be about what is the difference between three-dimensional and four-dimensional. Now, before I start off with the video, I'm gonna make sure I go over this as clean, clear, and, and consistent as possible. Otherwise, you guys might find it even harder to understand what I'm saying. And at least almost, if not all, the information I'm going to be saying and showing on the screen will be in the description below. And without further ado, let's get straight to the point. Alrighty, so the definition of a three-dimensional space is a geometric setting in which three values, which they're called parameters, are required to determine the position of an element. And this is just the definition of what three-dimensional is, right? Well, it also says to its all-known matter exists within the observable universe while this space remains the most compelling and useful way to model the world as it is experienced it is only one example of a large variety of spaces in three dimensions called three manifold and this means that being three dimensional is actually finite without any context whatsoever aka being universal let me give you an example when it comes to power scaling so it can make actual sense so basically if you create manipulate or destroy the matter within the universe and that's basically what finite 3d is and infinite three dimensional is basically the same for universal but on an infinite level and also you can be said to have infinite power which by referring to without context by itself is infinite three dimensional not higher now since at least some of y'all understand what being a three dimensional being is now let me explain to you what being a fourth dimensional being is a fourth dimensional space is a transcendence of the concept of three dimensional beings in space and a fourth dimensional being is that you can create manipulate or destroy the entire fourth dimensional space time of one universe not just the physical matter within one another example is something called extra dimensional and extra dimensions are proposed additional space time dimensions beyond a 3d scale without context which is three spatial dimensions plus time plus one temporal dimension with the time which equates to space and time which equates to being fourth dimensional or 4d which is what the definition of being a fourth dimensional being is aka universal plus which is what i call baseline fourth dimensional now we get into what is called multi-universal but I personally would stick with low multiverse because i like that name but basically a low multiversal is that you need to create, manipulate, or destroy multiple separate universal space-time continuums up to 1000. That's for what I call mid fourth dimensional. And as for full on multiversal, you would have to create, manipulate, or destroy 1001 and up to more finite separate universal space-time continuums which is what I call high fourth dimensional. And for what multiversal plus is, is basically an infinite fourth dimensional being or being able to create, destroy, or manipulate an infinite amount of universal space-time continuums. Alrighty, since y'all understand what 4D is now, and so there are some misunderstandings or, or misconceptions about how people would scale certain verses that, and they have the terror to destroy a universe, right? But all they were doing are doing is destroying the observable universe and not the total totality of the universal space time and all that would equate to his finite universal not fourth dimensional universal plus which is obviously on a fourth dimensional scale and obviously destroying a finite universal structure does not equate to being fourth dimensional at all and even if the universe is said to be infinite that would be 3d on, on an infinite scale i also like to mention that time itself isn't the fourth dimension at all in itself because time is separate from space instead time as a new order of change exists in a 3d space unless there is a verse that says otherwise then you would be assuming the standard of, of what time actually is and all time really is one singular dimension or temporal dimension and not actually the fourth dimension itself all in all this is the difference between what a three-dimensional being is and what a fourth dimensional being is i hope that this video helps you to get a glimpse of what the difference is so that for those who power scale from some verses don't make this mistake and try to look for context clues if you guys enjoyed this amazing tutorial please make sure to hit that like button comment and subscribe to my channel and we are on a road to make 1,000 subscribers and instinct of doom is out before y'all click off this video make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications which is that bell right beside
right there after you subscribe. And y'all can also check out my social media in the descriptions below. You guys can follow me on my Twitter to keep up with recent tweets and news. And my Discord server is in the description box below as well. Since you guys did all that, have a great day and peace.